Welcome to Marine Tech Hub. Uh, today I am going to discuss about problem facing while opening hydraulic wall. Uh, this is ballast water treatment system. So very important thing which I want to tell to chief officer and other junior officers who are actually operating the hydraulic wall. So most of the time what happens is the hydraulic wall doesn't operate properly and they call up the engine room and uh, then they say the wall is not working properly so very important uh, please listen carefully so it problem is not with to blame anybody so problem is to explain and so that you uh, run a better ship that means without any much problem so here in the ballast water system we have a indicator here you can see my cursor this is, this is the hydraulic wall. Uh, so you can see the indicator right now. The right now the indicator is in the open position. O is for open, S is for shut and N is in the normal position. So suppose you want to open a hydraulic wall. Uh, so what the chief officer does is he will turn this knob to S position. That means shut position. As soon as he moves this indicator to the S position, what happens is the electrical signal from CCR, that is cargo control room, it goes to the uh, wall uh, to operate the solenoid wall where a 24 volt supply is given and the spool piece moves. When the spool piece moves, the hydraulic oil is already waiting uh, to move the wall. Okay, when the solenoid wall moves, the hydraulic oil will operate because continuously we have a VRC, wall remote control system, where the hydraulic pressure is always maintained around 90 to 120 bar. So this is continuously the pump will be running So and you will have the pressure maintaining. So as soon as the signal goes, the solenoid wall will move and the wall will start to close. The indicator here will slowly start to come to the shut position. Suppose you want to open the wall 50%, that time what you have to do is when this indicator comes to 50%, then you turn the knob to the neutral position. Then it will stop here. But normally we want to open the wall fully, so we wait for the indicator to come to the shut position. As soon as it comes to shut position, uh, normally uh, you have to bring this to the neutral position this is very important again when you want to open it again you push the knob to open the electrical supply 24 volt will go to the solenoid wall uh, there will be two solenoid wall one for opening and another for closing if you go to the uh, wall control you, uh, room you will see a lot of solenoid walls uh, there each solenoid wall will operate one wall so the number will be written here, here it is written BA050, so this will be operating this wall. So when you are putting it o, open, that means the signal is going and the indicator will move to here and that means open. You can see the wall physically also there, make sure that indicator open, also see the wall is opening. Once the wall is open, one of the important thing you should remember never keep this indicator in this position and leave it so what will happen is when you are leaving this in the same position the 24 volt supply is continuously going to the solenoid wall and it is heating up so one fine morning what happens is the chief officer calls the engine room and says this this wall is not working so when in the middle of the operation so in that case then we go and investigate and when we go to the local solenoid wall we found the wall solenoid wall very hot and uh, maybe you can't touch it also so that means what has happened is this knob was kept in this position for quite a long time as it quite a long time and not put back to neutral so the temperature 24 volt was there and it heated up the solenoid wall, wall uh, got damaged so we have to literally uh, change the solenoid wall it was not coming out it, it got welded so hard 
so the electrical officer was very angry and saying this is uh, this is what happened when people do not know the operation what they are doing so there was a big fight between the deck officers and the electrical officers so but this kind of thing should not happen so we are not here to fight it out we are trying to explain to you what as a deck officer you should know how the system is working so once the valve open then you put back to the normal position okay guys so this will help any hydraulic valve when you operate this is what is there so if you open or close once the valve opens then you have to put it in the neutral position so this is very very important so next slide i will show you uh, how we are going to operate the pump for the ballast so here uh, we want to start the ballast pump the ballast pump uh, we having a variable frequency drive okay so variable frequency drive is the latest technology uh, which we are using on board the ship okay it is not uh, like big motors and all when you want to start we will either have a auto transformer or variable transformer we can say or servo transformer uh, or we can use star delta okay so now we are using a, a variable frequency drive where when you start uh, the variable frequency drive will we can operate this motor at different rpm so this is the technology i have explained about variable frequency drive in one of the videos electrical officers who are very much interested uh, can know how to run the ballast pump when the variable frequency drive have a problem or any other variable frequency i am trying to explain how it is working so once you push this we got the potentiometer here we have to slowly slowly push it up so never push it very fast even if you push very fast we have got a built in mechanism the motor will not run that it will take its own time all this uh, safe matic system is attached so this is very important so the same system is used for cargo operation markplex we have electric driven motors uh, on the deck which is run by variable frequency drive same thing we are using for the ballast also okay guys so uh, today's topic is uh, with respect to the ballast water treatment and how we have to run its very uh, safety precaution for chief officers so i am trying to explain and tell uh, what normally happens on board the ship so avoid all those things because if you are knowledgeable it will be safe for the ship and working also easy for electrical officers and engineers there should be a, a team work so any deck officer is going on the ccr or engineer is going on ccr make sure uh, the valve position should be neutral once the valve is open okay guys thank you very much and have a nice day thank you and if you have any message you can let me know and i will be replying you on my whatsapp and my email address is also